I'm Chris Martin, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of the Hard Facts Calculator app. The Hard Facts Calculator app puts everything at your fingertips needed for flow testing, training, or fire ground operations related to nozzle and fire ground hydraulics. The video section features the most common brass tacks hard facts videos related to flow testing. For example, how to calibrate a flow meter or where to put your pressure gauges. The next section is smoothbore discharge flow. For example, the default is a 7 8 tip at 50 PSI. If I tap calculate, it shows that's a flow rate of 160 GPM. If my 7 8 is over pumped at 60 PSI, I hit calculate, that's 176 GPM. The next section is a very convenient nozzle reaction calculator. This can be used for smoothbore or fog type nozzles. For 7A smoothbore at 50 PSI, I tap calculate, I have 59 pounds force nozzle reaction. If I tap over to fog, it defaults to 150 GPM at 50 PSI. When I hit calculate, that shows me 53 pounds force nozzle reaction. If I wanted to compare that to say a 150 at 100, I simply take out 50, replace it with 100, hit calculate, and now that's 75 pounds force nozzle reaction. The next section is a pump discharge pressure calculator. There are three different segments in here. The first one would be establishing your discharge flow, hose diameter, hose length, and nozzle pressure. So if I had a discharge flow of 150 GPM, hose diameter of inch and three quarter, and hose length of a 200 foot, and a 50 PSI nozzle, and I hit calculate, I get 120 PSI estimated discharge pressure. If I change any of the hose diameters, for example, I go to two and a half, I'm asked if I want to change the default coefficient. All these formulas are based off default coefficients. So if you have different inside diameter hose and you know that coefficient, you can enter it in and apply the new coefficient, or I can use the default coefficient. This is helpful for users using two inch hose. Two inch hose can have several different coefficients based on inch and a half couplings or two and a half couplings. So if you're using two inch hose and you know that coefficient, here's where you would be able to use the app. The next section would be standard friction loss. This would take into account any elevation. I have friction loss, number of floors, if I need to worry about an appliance, and my nozzle pressure. The next section of the pump discharge pressure is a high rise calculator. The four inputs here are your friction loss and your supply hose. This would be figured from the pumper to the building. The next is the number of floors. The third is the friction loss in your attack hose. And finally, operating pressure of your nozzle. Once all these are entered, you can hit calculate and it'll give you your estimated engine pressure. The last section is a fire flow formula calculator. The standard NFA and Iowa formulas are listed. Simply enter your inputs, hit calculate, and you will get the estimated target flow needed for extinguishment per the formula.